Welcome to the channel. Find out what Nikon did next to the Nikon Z9 on this photo news brief. Welcome to the channel. Today is an exciting day. Nikon has released another firmware update for another Nikon camera. This time it's the Nikon Z9. It's firmware update 5.0. Now this firmware update is similar to the firmware update for the Z8 and the ZF in that it has the rich tone portraits and the portraits impression balance. I'm a Z9 owner and I really appreciate what Nikon has done for this camera. They keep refreshing this camera and that's what makes this camera great because every time I look around, there's a new firmware update and they're added a new feature. And this camera was over two years old and they're still adding to it, which adds value to this camera. And so in the second generation, that means that the autofocus can only get better because we'll have a next generation processor in it. Let's go over what firmware 5.0 has in it. Let's start with still photography. Nikon has added the function in the auto capture in the photo shooting menu. They've added DX 24 by 16 in the image area, and they've also added airplanes. They made airplanes a dedicated function. And so if you like to shoot airplanes, it's now dedicated just like birds function was dedicated. And that's great for all of us high speed shooters. I have an air show coming up in April at the local naval base and that's going to be exciting the nikon is now better it has airplane detection and it has improved let's go over some other features auto capture is now available with the camera manual focus settings and the appearance and some item names in the setting display have changed if you use auto capture, then the detection range has been increased in the advanced setting so you really like that also Nikon has added high speed frame capture plus release mode option. And they've also added the frequency setting mode, the high frequency flicker reduction. I use that all the time. I usually shoot at churches that have the LED lights and they're flashing all over the place. And in my previous cameras, the flicker reduction wasn't that great. And so you get that moray effect and it didn't look that great. But with this camera, it looks fabulous. And with added flicker reduction, that'll only make it better. Also, another thing added that the Z8 and the ZF has is the rich tone portraits and the picture control. Also, it's added the portrait impression and these are mostly for portraits. I take portraits with this camera also with its 45 megapixel. It's excellent for portrait taking because you can crop at 45 megapixel and still get a workable file size. So let's go over some other features that are in the portrait. Skin softening, also you have high also noise reduction mode. It's been enhanced. It now has two settings for noise reduction and you'll like that if you're one of those nighttime shooters or just one of those people that just uh, likes to shoot at high ISO and don't like to use a flash that'll work well for you. Also, there's a new image quality option available for high speed frame capture. It's in the image quality settings and it allows you to shoot in ASVC in the photo shooting menu. You'll like this feature. Now in live view, you can zoom it up to 400%. And what that basically does is if you're want to chimp and look at your photos, you can now look at it. And also I have, I do event photography and I have clients and they want to look at their photos and, and it just works out great because everyone wants to see what they look like in the photo. You know, it's just natural. Everybody wants to be Hollywood. Let's jump to video recording. So if you go to the auto capture, you can separate auto capture functions and photo functions in two different banks. Now you don't have to use the same banks. It works out great. If you're a auto capture shooter, you can now separate the two functions with the video and the photography in two different banks. That works great. That way you don't have to keep resetting your camera when you're doing auto capture. And it also has added DX to the image area. 
Also, it has airplane detection for video also, and that is the added bonus for this firmware update. Let's go over some other features. Just like in the photography, auto capture is now available with the camera manual focus settings. And it also has rich tone portraits. It also has portrait impression balance. And it also has skin softening. So if you're one of those people that likes to edit your video on the fly, these will work great. And that helps out all you videographers that, you know, do wedding photography and you want to do some edits before you get home in your downtime. So add it uh, and change where the uh, high res zoom and video recording menu, the color of the in focus autofocus area bracket shown on the shooting display when in the high zoom is enabled has been changed. High res zoom functions can now be performed using the sub select and also the live view display zoom is now 400% also in video. In the playback menu, playback speed has been added to the video playback and that just helps you play back the video just that much faster. So when you're using your Nikon camera and you wanna go through the playback, you can speed it up. In the playback menu, the following features were added. Playback speed, uh, customized retouch options, auto image rotation so when you're rotating your image it'll automatically rotate when you're rotating your camera also added was the auto series playback option to series playback scrolling through pictures now keeps carrying orientation even if the camera is rotated so you can lock in the picture even though you rotate the camera so that way you don't lose uh focus when you're trying to gauge because sometimes when i'm shooting like this the Image will shift, now you can lock it in. To retouch, you can resize in the playback eye menu when raw images are displayed, and that is great. In the controls, uh, in this firmware 5.0, the custom controls and role assignments via the following items in the custom setting menus have been improved. So you can go into the customized menu and change the settings you can change the shooting, you can change the playback speed. You can choose which focus point, whether it's face priority, and you can also choose the custom playback menu and the main command dial or the sub command dial, you can change the playback. Another thing that's changed in the autofocus is if you're doing 3D tracking, the human next to the box will have the focus. So. If you have like three people, you know how you're doing three people and that point, that box is jumping all over the place. Now it will focus closest to the person relative to where the focus point is. And that is great. They've also changed the time the shooting display goes dark after the shutter is released. When on is selected for photo flicker reduction and the photo shooting member has become shorter. The RGB histogram is now easier to view when in mode one and mode two, and they just need to add an exposure meter when you're in video. That's my only gripe. I like the way they're doing the boxes now where the video is highlighted, where you can tell you're recording without any issue even from a distance, because in the past, it would that little dot would come on and you couldn't tell whether you're recording also in auto capture it does the same thing it highlight uh it highlights the box so you know that it is on and that is great i really appreciate that nikon now one thing that is missing from this upgrade is pixel shift pixel shift is missing and so if you're a pixel shift shooter and you, you have it in the Z8, it's not in the Z9 at this time. Uh, maybe that's one of the added features they want to let the Z8 have and not let the Z9 have, because the Z9 can do the same things the Z8 can, but without the pixel shift. So I don't know if they're gonna add that in the feature update, but for now, that's one of the differences. So now, your Nikon firmware is up to date with a major, with 5.0. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you watch my other videos on Nikon firmware updates. I did one on the 
uh, ZFC and the Nikon Z8. Thank you for watching and please watch my other videos and please subscribe.